when this all started, we had a demo here in Dublin, and I spoke, and I said that one of the things that I'm fearful of is that people will uh, end up forgetting what is going on, or I don't know, getting tired. And, and the lovely lady, she was standing uh, in the front line, she said, we will never forget about Palestine. And that actually shook me, shook me in, in the core. And I really appreciate that. As a Palestinian who has family there, since day one, it's almost as if someone is playing Russian roulette and aiming a gun at my family's heads and maybe they will die, maybe they will not. Especially for someone that already lost someone in 2014 when they killed my brother while he was grocery shopping. So everything, the, all the flashbacks were coming back and especially that. I see it happening over and over again with no consequences. I see it happening over and over again. No one is asking them why or no one is holding them accountable. So every time I was feeling hopeless, I, will, I always remembered uh, Rachel Corey. She was uh, a young American. And she, was, and she was killed by an Israeli bulldozer in 2003 and she was 23. And it made me wonder, what, 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 how did she end up in that position? Because I, I bet that for an American at that time, it must have been really hard to stand against the current. It, it must have been really hard to speak out and say what, say what she really thought. And as a Palestinian, I've always felt that I'm tiptoeing when I'm saying I'm Palestinian because some people will not even know what, what Palestine is, and some people will say that, will think of Palestine, think of conflict, and I always felt that I need to justify my existence, and I needed to defend my brother who, who, who was killed, and I needed to explain every time that he was killed just because he is Palestinian. And so when all this started, I really was hopeless. But now, my feelings are way different. It's the first time I actually feel hope. It's the first time I feel that... I, it's the first time I feel that the tide is shifting. Even if it's shifting slowly, but I always believed in people, not governments. I always believed in people. And now I'm seeing people in thousands on the streets naming things as they should be named saying out loud it's a genocide, saying out loud it's an apartheid, saying out loud free Palestine from the river to the sea. And these things, you, we could never have said them a few years ago. We would have lost our jobs, we would have been labeled with all types of crimes. I'm so proud of the people. I'm so proud of the people of Ireland. And I'm so happy that I ended up moving to Ireland because this is the place where I found hope, finally. I'm just gonna end by saying, please, keep fighting. Take a rest, recharge your energy, and keep fighting for Palestine, because we are winning. Thank you.